What's up everybody, this is Ian Stoneberg from NiceKicks.com. We're here today for a performance review of the Adidas Crazy Quicks. The Adidas Crazy Quick was debuted earlier this season on John Wall. Since then, we've seen the shoe on the likes of Iman Shumpert, Taj Gibson, and Damian Lillard. The model is designed primarily for fast-paced guards that play on their toes. The shoe's debut technology, the showcase technology for that matter, is the pure motion midsole, seen here, that flexes when the foot moves. As far as the shoe goes, the lockdown was probably its best attribute. The shoe features a tech fit upper, which is nice, fits snug to the foot, and also downs an asymmetrical lacing system, which made these easy to tie tight. Aside from that, the tongue is sewn all the way into the shoe up to the third eyelid. This makes for a snug feel all over the forefoot, which aids lockdown tremendously. Cushioning is almost non-existent in the Crazy Quick. When you first slide your foot in the shoe, you'll feel the cord. For some players, this is fantastic. You'll experience improved traction, better cuts, things of that nature. For those that like more balance or padding, you're not going to get that. This is seen in the Pure Motion midsole. It sacrifices cushioning for more flexibility and enhanced court feel. When I first played in the Adidas Crazy Quick, traction was one of my favorite attributes of this shoe. As expressed in cushioning, court feel is tremendous and is definitely enhanced by the quick zones that are displayed on the outsole. With that said, when I went from playing indoors to playing outdoors and then back indoors, I did notice tractioning starting to wear off a little bit. This is something that could be improved upon. Adidas breaks the outsole down into four zones. Where I particularly felt the impact of tractioning was on the toe box zone and the forefoot zone. This was great for cuts, starting and stopping, and other lateral movement. Responsiveness is another area where the Crazy Quick scored well. As talked about in lockdown, that attribute was fantastic. This definitely carried over to responsiveness. When cutting, stopping, starting, and jumping, I never felt like the shoe was lagging behind me. Definitely an attribute of the shoe that's strong and a selling point for guards on the move. Breathability is not as strong suited to Crazy Quick. As you can see, the upper features virtually no ventilation. You'll see no perforations on the tech fit styling and also little to none on the tongue. This did not affect playing in the shoe per se, but it definitely did make for a hotter wear and a stinkier shoe afterwards. For the most part, support was not an issue on the Adidas Crazy Quick. Felt good cutting, running, jumping, doing all those motions in the shoe with not really any fear of you know hurting my ankles or things of that nature. With that said, I did find issue with the sprint frame support seen here. When cutting on the baseline occasionally, that would dig into my ankle. Not anything bad enough to make any cuts or bruises, but still discomforting. After playing in the shoes both indoors and outdoors, the shoe didn't show too much signs of wear. There's virtually no wear on the tech foot upper, a little bit around the laces. However, there was some wear on the outsole, as expressed in the traction column. This is definitely an area that can be improved upon, but still a shoe that could probably last you a whole season, no problem. The Adidas Crazy Quick scored a B in our performance review. If you're a guard that plays on your toes, you'll probably really like this shoe. If you're a back to the basket center or spot up shooter, you may be looking for a shoe with more cushioning. Have you played in the shoe yet? Let us know in the comments section. Until then, tune in to Nice Kicks for another performance review. Thanks.